Welcome back, Rankers. How you going? I've had a busy week. Been moving home. Oh my god, twenty-two years of stuff. <sighs> Still culling. Anyway, oh, here's a funny thing. What I wanted to talk to you about today is a video that Matt Cutts posted just over a month ago, and Search Engine Land did a, a great article on it, and it's about things to do if you've got an e-commerce site and stuff goes out of stock. Now, the reason I want to talk to you about it is because I am actually running a workshop on this very issue. Again, at Pisa, the internet, if you, want to, if you haven't been to Pisa and you're in retail, you really should. Um, if you're selling stuff online, get your, to this. Because uh, this year has got some really great speakers, in fact, one of the guys I want to go and see is someone, Tim Ash. He's talking about uh, conversion optimization. So get along to see him. But I'm actually running a workshop as well on this SEO for e commerce sites. And internetconference.com.au, please get onto it. Uh, heaps of people love it. Look at all of the testimonials there. Anyway, enough of that. One of the things that he, he's talking about here essentially is. Um, 404s. What we find is with a lot of e-commerce sites, they will discontinue a product or the product will be out of stock. And to make it easier for the user, they basically just take that page. The systems involved just take that page completely out of the site and give it a 404. Now, at, at some level, you would say, okay, that's, like, that's okay to the user. They're not going to find a product that doesn't exist. However, the, the problems that um, I have with that is that, I mean, in, in what, what Google's saying here is, is that for, um, uh, for if you're doing that with a site and the, the product's not going to come back in stock, then yeah, you should 404 it. The problem I have with that is that Google will often crawl a page that it's known about and it will detect these 404. So if you're doing that with a lot of products, then you can see your 404s creep up, and at some level, sometimes we've seen this happen, your rankings will drop. Um, the other problem that I have with 404ing stuff like that, even if it's um, not coming back into stock, is that it may be getting linked to somewhere else out on the web, so you're losing the, the value of that backlink to that product. We prefer to permanently redirect these pages. If the product is no longer going to be carried, let's just say, for instance, it's an old model, um, and now there, there's a newer model of that product. So you're not selling the old model anymore, well, why not permanently redirect to the new, newer model? For us, that makes much more sense for the user, and it keeps any backlinks that you may have going to that page live. Uh, and also it uh, shows Google that your site's not full of errors. Because what can happen in some of these content management systems is that uh, 404s in and of themselves are not a bad thing. They serve a purpose. They say, page not here, not found. However, if you're linking to that page somehow within your site and you don't realize it, maybe there's uh, a blog post that you've linked to, to that page at, or there's a, um, some sort of nav menu that hasn't updated after you remove that page, all of a sudden you've got broken links within your site. And it's all very well for Matt Cuts at Google to say, hey, you should 404 these things if they're not coming back into the stock. But it really depends on how your site is built. Now he's sort of discounting, understandably, I guess, uh, the, uh, the nature of the structure of your site. But for us, what we prefer to do is to, um, if, if, it, if it's coming back into stock, then just put a page up that says, hey, this thing's out of stock. Um, do, you, do you want to add it to your wish list? Do you want to uh, be notified when it's in stock? All those sorts of things. Um, that will, that's good for the user, and it's good for Google. You don't lose the, the page um, value. But the main problem that we see with e-commerce sites, we're going to be talking about this a lot, at this workshop, it's a half day workshop at PISA, is not so much the 404s, although they are an issue often, but you can usually rectify those pretty quick. 
it's the duplication of content because of um, you know different ways to find a product within a site. You might say have a category of electronic products, or you might have a category of um, uh, different shoe sizes, or whatever it might be. But sometimes on large e-commerce sites, we see that um, the page is available at more than one. Uh, someone's skyping me when I'm doing. Stop skyping me! I'm recording. Stuff. Uh, some of the sites that we see will have the content available at more than one URL because it makes sense for the user. If you're going to do that, that's where you really need to be using your canonical tags. Uh, and that tells Google that, hey, the original version of this page is at this address. And this is a case in point, and it can, be, it can take a long time to fix these things. This particular client here, this is the Google index status. This client, when we started with them, had a lot more than 21,000 pages. They had about 35,000 pages. And over time, we've had to do a lot of manual removal. We've had to tell Google um, to not index this page. We've had to use canonical tags. Uh, and this site is a custom CMS, so it wasn't an easy thing to do. Finally, you know, you get it flatlining like that where it's meant to be. Um, and new products are coming on board all the time, of course, so it'll start to grow again. But all this sort of stuff up here, this was like um, different parameters on, on the end, sort of like it was the printable version of the page. It was the, uh, a calculator for that particular page for shipping. It was all sorts of things like that. Now, there are ways that we, you can say to Google, don't crawl these parameters, and that is in... Oh, it's actually changed. It's up over here now, isn't it? Anyway, I won't get into it now. But there's ways that you can say, hey, Google, don't um, crawl these parameters or, or, or those sorts of things. But we had all that in place, but Google was ignoring that in Webmaster Tools. It was still going in and, and, and crawling these pages. So we had to hit Google over, over the head. So the 404s are important, and that's a good video to go and have a look at if you're running an e-commerce site about the different ways to handle uh, uh, products out of stock. But the bigger problem that we find is usually with e-commerce sites, They've just got far too many pages actually in the index. And that's because they're not using canonical tags or they're letting Google crawl places in the site that it shouldn't be. Hopefully that's helpful and hopefully we'll see you at PISA this year. Hey, if you want a special code to get a bit of a discount, uh, hit me up, I've got one. And we'll see you next week. Thanks very much, bye.